Hello everyone. I had decided to do my observational study on human attention spans. Basically what I did was notice how often people were looking at their cell phones instead of just engaging in their physical activity exercise or even just being self-aware of their surroundings. The community that I looked at was a local gym in the city that I live at and the local gym that is by my place of work. Um, it wasn't a specific demographic or a specific age. I just wanted people to be at the locations that I was at. I picked this location because I often go to this place directly after work or on the weekend. And I felt that I felt comfortable going to that place and being able to observe without it being obvious. My plan for this study was to go somewhere where people would, well, I thought would be um, focusing on their workout and not spending a lot of time looking at their phone or engaging in something different. I picked the gym because I do know that the gym is something that a lot of people take serious and um, it's something that a lot of people do, so I thought I would have a big pool of people to look at. At the gym, I usually go on the Stairmaster, and I notice I'm going to go on the Stairmaster. It is the highest point in the gym. You can be up there and kind of look at each section of the gym and be able to see people and not be too obvious and not make it really weird. When I did my observation, I did look at four women and one man. Um, how I did this was... When I went into the gym, I would get on the Stairmaster and I would kind of scope out, I don't know, just people who seemed very interesting to me or kind of just stood out. Um, all of them did just happen to be Hispanic and the area that it was in was just, like I said, my local community. So I would say that it ranges from low income to middle class families. So I did conduct my studies on two different days. The first day was a Friday, it was November 15th. I was there for um, around an hour um, from 5.30 to 6.30. Then the second date was a Tuesday, November 19th. It was around 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. The first day I did go, um, I drove to the gym that was right by my apartment. And the second day I just went directly from work. I wanted to see if um, just like five is usually rush hour at the gym. So I did want to see if there was a little change in that. Um, I recorded my observations on my cell phone's note app and um, I kind of just like would pull it out, type a little message and then put it away. And um, I analyzed my data just by looking at common characteristics that my participants did, if they had on headphones, um, if I seen them um, walk in on their phone, if they were talking on the phone, if they were just like simply focused looking on the phone, they were so distracted, like things like that. My first finding isn't that um, strange, it's very common. I found that cell phone use is just very regular, especially in the gym. People are listening to music, people are looking at social media. People are also looking at workouts and um, <laughs> some people are on the cell phone just texting or on a phone call. Um, I noticed that, which was very, you know, kind of shocking, was that um, even when people were with a gym partner, the two girls that I decided to look at, um, that went to the gym together, got on the Stairmaster machine together. They were engaging in a conversation. One of them was kind of just talking the whole time, and then the other one was listening very intently. Um, but after talking for a while, they both, you know, decided to just be on their phone. One of them was um, watching the news and listening to music and the other one was watching a movie actually so I thought it was very interesting that they were right next to each other and instead of like kind of like catching up they were just um engaging in their own separate thing which I thought was really cool as well and then the last thing was that it did cause um people to be on a machine or even at an exercise station for longer so if people were on the machine kind of not on their phone they would get off the machine very faster than someone who was kind of just like on the phone, scrolling, distracted, watching a video, things like that. Some examples is kind of what I just mentioned. Um, the two women that were together, 
um, who were speaking, and then they decided to do their own activities, which was um, one watched a movie, the other one was watching the news on the TV in the gym and listening to music, which I thought was pretty cool that she was listening to music and watching the news. And then um, there was one woman who was kind of just on her phone. This was a different day, um, but she was kind of just like laying on her phone, laying down on the floor, sorry, and was just looking at her phone. Um, I kept looking at this one because I was very interested in seeing if she would kind of just like put her phone down and then engage in a workout, and she was kind of just stuck on her phone. And you never know what's going on in someone's life, so I just thought that was interesting. And then also there was a man who was grunting. <laughs> he was like every single setup that he did, it was like grunting very loud and breathing very loud. Like it was like I, I started thinking like, does he know that he's doing that? And I, I kind of felt like he did know, but he did have on music and he seemed very like passionate about his workout. But the craziest part of it was that no one was like looking at him or no one even like you know, made any type of reaction. It was like no one knew that it was happening. And I think maybe I only noticed because I was doing an observation and he happened to be in the area that I was at, but also because I didn't have my headphones on. Well, they were on, but I wasn't playing any music. So I thought that was very interesting. To reflect, what I thought was pretty interesting was that the gym played regular top hits and songs that were pretty often played on the radio, which would probably engage people more. Um, people still had their headphones on, and on the TVs, they had a range of TVs, different type of TV shows. They had sports, they had um, rom-com movies, they had on the news, they had on even telenovelas. And what I thought was pretty interesting is that people still chose to look at their cell phones, watch movies, TVs, and listen to music on their cell phones instead, which made me think that people wanted to look at specific things instead of what was just simply being offered to them. What I also thought was pretty interesting was that people seemed to be on their cell phones um, pretty focused on them unless they were actively physically engaging in the workout, physically doing a sit-up, physically walking up the Stairmaster, um, or even um, just walking to another workout station. Like if people were on their cell phone, it would kind of be when they were taking a break or when they were needing like a distraction, it appeared to be. The study did meet my expectations. I did think that there would be a lot of cell phone use, of course, because we all know that we live in a world of technology. However, I did not notice that other people kind of made so much noise. It wasn't just one man. He was the one that was very obvious and he was around me. But as I was walking around the gym, as I was going to different stations, as I was going about my own workout, I did notice that I just heard people like grunting or like just like <laughs> making noises. Um, that was, I thought that was very funny and interesting too. Um, I did think that it was a little bit weird paying so much attention to other people. I felt nosy <laughs> and I kind of felt like um, like they they were acting like themselves because they didn't notice that someone was looking at them. So I, so I thought that that was pretty interesting too. Um, to simply put it, I did enjoy this observation because this is a place that I go to very often on my own and it did make me think about the way that I use the gym, how I do tend to go to the gym and watch TV and listen to music and sometimes I do look at the TVs and sometimes I actually go to the gym without headphones um, very often um, just because I like to be aware of my surroundings but it did make me notice how much we are on our cell phones in public settings how even at the local gym like we're coming from work and we're immediately engrossed in like a screen and a lot of us work at an office, work at a desk, look at a computer. We're students as well. Um, so I was just noticing, I was like, this is a lot of time that we do spend um, on our cell phones. But something that really stood out to me was that not only do we spend a lot of time on our cell phones, but we also spend a lot of time with our headphones on in the gym. And I thought that it would be interesting for future research to take a look at any sort of correlation with gym accidents and um, cell phone use with headphones or even just like awareness at the gym with cell phones and seeing if there's like 
any type of correlation, any type of like data that was important to our likelihood. So that is my study and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much.